Hello, sorry. Here we go with our one more isometric projection. Uh, it is a problem in your mind with a, a reference to the GTU primary. Where uh, we have a sphere, a base diameter 30, and placed over a custom of a edge one pyramid of base side 30 and top base side 18. So, as we have discussed in a previous problem, that's problem number 36, 13, where we have a custom of a pentagon pyramid. Wherever we get a custom, we will have a two faces. Okay. Where edge one means two edge one faces. And one edge one because the one which is at the uh, base is at 30 mm side and the one which is at the bottom is at 18 mm are separated with a distance of 50. So let's take like uh, to do the polygons as we uh, already know the hexagon or a pentagon or a triangle we need to have a 2D sketch. Okay. So we'll take a line with a 0.5 thickness. And we'll have a first one hexagon, which is uh, for the bigger one, that is uh, 30 mm. So, as usual, we know like uh, the 360 divided by number of pipes, so it's a 6. So, the included angle will be 60 degree. So, we'll take first as 30 side and angle is 0. And the next will be 30 side and the angle will be uh, 60 degree. And the next again, the side 30, angle will be multiplication of 60, that's 120. Again, the side and of 180, and again the side, then 240, and again the side and we get uh, uh, 181. And we need to insert this one in a rectangle. Okay. So, the method normally we follow here is just a uh, trimming of the line. Okay. So, we'll just draw one vertical line and one horizontal line. So first we'll trim off these two lines, then we'll go with the extent to next okay. and this one and we'll trim off this line. Okay. So after this one, uh, here we'll just drop one center line, okay, the symmetric line, and we'll select uh, these two lines on the outer boundary and uh, we'll get an option of mirror we'll mirror with so easy or else you can just go on dropping the lines uh, inside in the edge one inside. Okay, so next we'll go to the smart dimension. So before that, we'll just delete up this uh, control line which we are taking the uh, reference. So we'll go to the smart dimension first is the edge line, it's a 30. Okay, then we'll take up the uh, side line, which is a 15 and 15. And next will be we take the whole length because this point will act as a midpoint and uh, these lengths will again remain as it is because they are symmetric. Okay. So just for a reference, as we show you, we have A point B, then B, then B, then F, then G, then H, then I, then J. Again, as we told, right, uh, these things we are taking it as a reference, we are not supposed to drop all these things in the exam. Just to have a uh, clarity, uh, we can add the name. Okay. Then to start with this thing, as usual, we will take a one horizontal line okay, and any point on the horizontal line. To start with this thing, uh, first we will go with the A and in anti clockwise okay, from A to B. And then B to C. Instead of that, we are taking a, a direct length as a 51.96. Enter and it's a 30 degree. Okay, the whole line we move from A to C itself. So B will be the mid of A to So we can take the big point. And from C to B, it's a 15. 15, enter 150. And after that, one, it's a 30, enter 150. And again, it's a 15, enter now we are at uh, point F. So B to B 15, B to E 30, then B to F 15. Now again from EF to H, we are taking a single length 51.96 enter, it's minus 150 enter. Okay, so we just move one length 
uh, to the edge and we have used uh, that is what by taking a discrete uh, then some problem number 11 uh, you can just refer to the video or else we can just take okay now from h to a we have three segments 15 13 and 15 so first we take 15 enter minus 30 enter then 30 enter minus 30 enter and 15 enter again minus 30 so this is how exactly we are going to complete the text one okay so let's take the edges first okay one here and one more here and this one five okay let's take a line with a point five end of this one to the mid of the line to the end of this line then to end of this line to the mid of this line because this b and a G will be at the width of AC and EFC. Okay. So now this is a plus one. So we need a, a center of the bottom face. We we'll take a, a thin line and we we'll drop a two diagonal, any two diagonal, and wherever they intersect, that will act as a center. Let's trim it off and have a clarity. Then we'll have a line with a center line. With a type 3, with a point 1 3 line, and from the center, uh, let's see like what is the length of that one, it's a 50, and obviously the height is at the 1 3 line. So, next will be you are not supposed to, we need a one more edge one, which is of 5 18 mm. Already we have one edge one, this one, which is of a 30 mm side. So, we can use the scale command in order to scale it down. So go to the scale command. Copy should be on here because we need a original copy of that one. So we need a, the 18 mm divided by the one which we have is the 30. Okay. Okay. Let's keep it at the center itself. Then after that one, let's select and go to the move copy off from the center. We we'll just move to the tip of the line where exactly we need to reduce edge width. So now the first one is done, so we need to connect the line, pick a line, so let's say like one line and by connecting you should be careful and connect the end point itself, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. Anyway, these two lines will not be visible. We can just change the thickness and we can just drop a thin line. Okay. So now these lines will not be visible. Okay. So this completes the exit as usual. So if you don't know how to drop it here, you can just convert this one to the ISO scale by selecting and you will get a half of the mark. So, this is going on angle between this line and this line will be 30 degrees, and this line will be 30 degrees. Now, it's important. So, now when it comes to a sphere, okay, irrespective of any uh, ISO or a uh, normal a sphere, if you look from any angle, it looks like uh, the radius, the diameter of that one will remain same. So, it looks like a circle only, okay. But, uh, when you are going to turn that one with respect to the uh, base the reference to the 30 degree, the length of that one will get reduced, reduced. Okay, that is the radius. So now what we will do, the diameter they have given is 30. We take the radius, which is the 15, it is kept at the top of the first one. So what we will do, we will take a line, uh, the axis line, which is a 0.13 from the Top of the exit one, we take the radius so 15 enter is the 90. Okay, so this is where exactly the center of the sphere is going to come. But uh, the sphere will be of the actual diameter, the diameter will not get reduced, only the reference of that one will get reduced. So we need to draw the radius, and after this one, we need to convert the goal to the SSC of. Okay, of 0.8164. So now, 
to be done. Now you just move this one and now go to the circle by center point and the center of that one is the tip of this radius and now enter the diameter will not change. Okay, so you will enter the tip. Select that circle to the point the continuous line and the point five. Okay. So now you can just zoom here. Okay. Just to have a clarity, first you can just remove the line. Now, just to demonstrate, so this is the height of the sphere, okay, normally which you have taken. So, if I draw a, a circle from here to the end of this one, okay, so this will be the radius. That means, when you look, see the sphere, okay, the only the reference radius will change, but it, the diameter will not change. If you rotate into any angle, okay, the sphere that's just like a ball, a ball, circular ball. Okay, the ball diameter will remain as it is. If you want to rotate to the 90 or 180 or 30 or even whatever the angle, okay, but only the reference length will change. So we have taken the reference initially, we have converted that onto the scale. You can just take it out here. This length is 12.25 and the diameter is a 30. According to this one, 12.25 means it comes around 24.5. But the diameter will be like as it is. So just for clarity, you can just show this one and you can do it. So you need to remember whatever may be the bottom solid. First, you need to draw the radius, then you need to convert to the scale. After converting to the scale only, you are supposed to draw the uh, circle whenever it comes to a sphere. Because dropping uh, just a one circle with reference this line will give half of the mass. Okay, that is considered as a uh, one solid.